I'm actually kind of surprised that I have any skincare at all to show you guys this month because last year was entirely skincare. But I do! I do. I'm just obsessed with skincare products, so I'm always trying new and different things. The Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I did a full Glossier review where I went over every single Glossier product that I've purchased and tried. And so if you want to see that, then I will link that video down below. But as you can probably tell, this is one of the shining stars from that video. And I was actually pretty skeptical of this at first and really didn't like it the first time I used it because I had purchased it wanting it to remove my makeup. It will remove a very, very light amount of makeup, but it definitely will not remove any kind of waterproof makeup. And I found even though I don't wear that much makeup, it really wasn't taking that much off. So as a makeup remover, I do not like this. But because I didn't want to completely waste the product, I saw that you could also use this as a regular face cleanser. So I started doing that and I started using it in the shower and then I started using it by my sink and this started to become the face cleanser that I wanted to reach for more and more. And now I really, really love it. As a basic, gentle, everyday cleanser, I think this is so awesome. I love the packaging for it and that it has a pump that also locks. I love the really light rose scent and I love the consistency of this. It's a little bit odd when you first use it because it's completely clear, it doesn't foam up, it doesn't emulsify into a white milky cleanser, it just stays clear the entire time. So at first it's kind of like, is this really doing anything? But after consistent use, I really feel like this has balanced out my skin, it's super gentle, hasn't caused me to break out at all, and I think it's really great and I've actually repurchased it because it's almost gone. I always know when I really love something when I travel with it because I have to be very discerning with what I'm taking with me. So it's actually a really great way to figure out what I'm actually loving. On my body, I have been loving this Herba Viva body wash and this is the Embrace scent, which is a jasmine and grapefruit scent. Jasmine is one of my all time favorite scents and I love how the grapefruit kind of balances out that floral scent with something a little bit more citrusy and it's super fresh and when I use this in the shower I feel like I'm getting really clean and it just fills my bathroom with the most amazing scent. On top of that Herba Viva is an organic skincare brand so if that is something that is up your alley then I definitely recommend looking into their products because they have amazing scents, they have a whole line of different skincare and body products, and essential oils if that is something that you're interested in. I've also been using their deodorant, which so far I'm liking, but I don't want to give any final thoughts on it yet because I just started using it. But just a little sneak peek because it might pop up in a video later on. Speaking of deodorant, uh, the deodorant that I was using before I started trying out the Herba Viva one which I've been using pretty consistently for the last month is the Tarte Clean Queen vegan deodorant. I just started using it because it doesn't have aluminum and it was before I started using the Herba Viva one and I ran out of my Schmitz deodorant so this was kind of an interim deodorant for me and I think it works well enough but I don't think it's anything spectacular, but I'm putting it in my favorites video because it is something that I used consistently over the last month. And I think it does tackle odor pretty well. I think it helps with wetness a little bit. I find that it definitely doesn't last all day, but the scent is really, really nice and fresh. And this is also a deodorant that's going to leave whiteness underneath your arms. So when you put this on, it is super white and it stays that way for a while. So some things to keep in mind, but I do think it's pretty solid if you're looking for a deodorant that doesn't have aluminum in it. And you also prefer something in a stick solid form because this is really nice packaging. It goes on very smoothly. You can twist it up and down. The packaging feels really 
solid and secure and not flimsy or anything. It is nice to use from start to finish, but I don't think it's anything out of this world and there are definitely some things to keep in mind. I have been all about the Bare Minerals Pure Transformation Night Treatment. This is something that I really use, especially when I'm traveling. I love this because it's unlike any other night treatment I've used before. So you can see that it's a powder with a little brush. It's actually a blend of different minerals and fruit extracts. And it's so weird putting on something that's a powder at night, but it works so well. You wash your face, essences, toners, moisturizers, oils, whatever it is that you typically use, you wait for that to sink in a little bit and then you put this over the top. And it feels weird because it kind of feels like you're putting makeup on, but this is not makeup, even though it kind of looks like it is. Trust me, it's definitely not makeup. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't do anything weird to my skin. It just feels a bit odd because typically we're not used to using things like this at nighttime. So I buff this all over my face. I love that the brush is built in, so all you have to do is just shake it up and then tap off any excess and you just buff it into your face. And what happens is it kind of looks like you are wearing makeup because you are buffing these minerals onto your face and you notice that your face is instantly glowy. It looks absolutely incredible. And then you just go to bed with it on. Everything sinks into your skin overnight and when you wake up, your skin is just brighter, it feels hydrated, and it just feels really good. I can't really explain it other than I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my god, my skin feels and looks amazing. And then I just wash my face and go on with my day. And the reason why I especially love this when I'm traveling is because I will put this on when I'm on an airplane. So it gives you this really beautiful, glowy, luminous skin, but you're not wearing makeup. You're wearing something that will be helping your skin and I think that's really awesome. I just think it's so cool in general and I love using it when I'm at home, but I think it's so amazing, especially when I'm traveling and I'm going to sleep in one city and then waking up in another city after being on like a 10 to 13 hour flight. So I definitely recommend this if you are curious about trying something completely different and if you're somebody that travels a lot and you're looking for something that's a really great travel skincare product that's super easy to use. I am such a huge fan of this. For my lips, these two things have been my essentials recently. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish, which is an amazing and super tasty lip scrub. I love smelling it because it just smells like brown sugar, but I love how this really just gets rid of any kind of flakiness on my lips and hydrates my lips at the same time. Then over the top of that, I've been using the Nukes Lip Balm, which I got while I was in France because I have looked for this for so long and it was always sold out whenever I was traveling and looking in booths or any kind of pharmacy abroad. I could never find it and I finally did, so I got it. And I am so happy I did because it is definitely one of my new favorite intensive lip balms. It is so hydrating. I also love that it doesn't make your lips look super shiny. I've been wanting to try this lip balm for years because I know that Estee really loves this. So now I feel like my mission has finally been accomplished to try this lip balm and I love it. It is just as good as everybody says it is. Also on my lips, I've been using the Fresh Sugar Sport Stick whenever I have wanted SPF on my lips. So I've just been using this as a base underneath any kind of lip product that I'm using to make sure that I'm getting SPF on my lips because it's so easy for your lips to get ignored and then burned when it comes to SPF. And if you've ever had a sunburn on your lips, then you know that it hurts like a mother effer. It is incredibly painful. This has SPF 30 in it and I found that this really protected my lips, especially when I was outdoors a lot in France. Like we went mountain biking and we were just outside in general walking around and I really felt like this was super easy to reapply. It protected my lips 
and I also loved that I could use this on different areas of my face. So if I was in a pinch for SPF and I could feel like my nose getting a little bit too toasty, I could just put this on my face too. And it works really well and I love it. I think it's super handy to have in your bag. I've actually been using this for probably the last four months or so. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I recently have just completely fallen for this product. And I use this both when I'm wearing makeup and when I'm not wearing makeup. So this is a really, really hydrating face spray. And I love the herbivore one, but I use that one more as like a toner or just as a refresher throughout the day. I find this to be a super effective way to quickly hydrate my skin and make my skin super dewy. I have oily skin, but I've noticed, especially more recently, that my skin has just been craving more hydration. And I'll notice by the end of the day, even if my skin looks oily, it will feel dry in certain areas, especially around my mouth. So I have been spraying this on my face and it instantly just soothes everything. It doesn't mess up my makeup and it just adds the hydration into my skin that it's craving. I also love using this on days when I'm not wearing makeup and I'll put on my moisturizer and everything and then I'll finish with this just to give that like dewy hydrated look and it works so well. When I first started using this, I thought that it was making my skin too shiny, but now I really love it and I just love the way that it feels. So I definitely recommend this if you're somebody that's seeking a very dewy look plus a lot of hydration. This is definitely something that I, as an oily skin person, never thought that I would completely fall in love with, but I definitely have. I haven't really been wearing foundation and that's because I've been obsessed with this. This is the Aven Tinted Mineral Fluid with SPF 50. So this is essentially a tinted sunscreen and I bought this in France because Carrie had purchased it and she was using it and it looked amazing on her skin and she said that she was really loving it. So I went out and bought some myself because I used a little bit of hers one day and I fell in love with it. As far as I know, this only comes in one shade, which kind of sucks because I feel like if you have lighter skin, this is gonna be too dark for you, and if you have darker skin, this is gonna be too light for you. I really wish that it came in more shades because it's so awesome. This definitely does not feel like a tinted moisturizer to me. It really does feel like a sunscreen consistency, like a fluid sunscreen with tint. In it and I love that when I put it on my skin even though this color just looking at it when I dumped it out does not look like a match for my skin it just kind of blends in and disappears so it's not giving a ton of coverage but it does give a little bit which I really love and then I also love that this is a mineral sunscreen, so I am getting really good sun protection. And I also wear a sunscreen additionally underneath this. But I think that this is an awesome product because one, it's a mineral sunscreen, it has tint in it, it's SPF 50, and it says chemical filter free and very water resistant. And it's also not gonna clog your pores. The only downside of this that I would say, aside from the limited shade selection, it can be a little bit messy. And when you first put it on, it can feel really oily. But I kind of like that because it just makes it a little bit more hydrating. And all I do is set it with a translucent powder and I'm good to go. And I've had this on for an entire day and it stayed on, it protected my skin. I did not get burned at all and I just really love how this performs. So it's a really great balance between having something that will even out your skin tone, but also protect it at the same time. I don't think this is sold in the States, and I tried looking for it online, and it was kind of hard to find online as well. So I'm kind of bummed that after I finish this, I'm not gonna have any more. I was really excited about this until today. 
So this is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara in Waterproof. I was looking at all the Maybelline mascaras and I was so sad because I love Maybelline mascaras and I saw these new ones that I had never tried and I was like, oh, maybe something has changed. So I got this, fell in love with it because I wasn't having any kind of burning sensation or irritation around my eyes and I love how it makes my lashes look. I'm wearing it today. And then today, as I sit down to shoot my favorites video, my eyes start burning. So I guess I still can't use Maybelline mascaras. But what I will say is if you don't have a problem with Maybelline mascaras, this is awesome. I think the brush on this is really great for lifting lashes up. And I really think that this also separates your lashes and adds a lot of volume. And it's really easy to build up as well. So I'm really devastated that I can't keep using this mascara because it's really just making my eyes burn right now. It's just this feeling of dryness, burning, and irritation. That's the best way that I can describe it. And when I wash the mascara off, it completely goes away. So that's how I know that it is the mascara. I don't know what it is about Maybelline mascaras. There's something in them that irritates my eyes and I can't figure out what it is. So if you know, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to know what it is that makes my eyes burn. This has seriously been a mystery to me for years. Something that I haven't had any irritation with that I genuinely love is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff. I'm wearing this today and this is also in my full Glossier review, but I definitely think this is one of the standout products within the entire Glossier skincare makeup line. These cloud paints are so easy to use, a little bit goes a long way, and they're really, really easy to blend. The colors are beautiful, they look gorgeous on different skin colors. I just think they've really nailed the cheek color because they're not greasy, but they add a glow to your face and really beautiful color. And I love the packaging and I also love how pigmented they are. So while this Glossier product is pretty small, I know that this is gonna last me a while because I don't have to use that much when I am using it. I don't have a candle this month, but I do have a room scent. I bought this while I was in France, and this was actually at the spa in our hotel. They use the brand Bamford there, which I believe is a British brand, but I have never used their products before, and Carrie and I just fell in love with their scents. And when I smelled the candied orange frankincense and cardamom room fragrance, I was like, oh my God, I need this now. And they really weren't as expensive as I thought they would be. I was really surprised and happy about the price point. So while they are on a slightly pricier end, they're not like hundreds of dollars. I think for the quality of products that you're getting, I think they're definitely reasonable, especially for something that's like a luxury product. I have been using the Anne Fontaine room spray for years. Up until this point, that has been my favorite. And I thought it was time to switch it up. And I love this. It is just the most amazing scent. The combination of these three things probably sounds really weird, but I think that the frankincense and cardamom really balances out the sweetness of the candied orange. I think it's unique in terms of other candles and fragrances that I've had, and it really lasts a long time too. So I just need like two or three spritzes of this in a room and it smells amazing. You can also spray that on your linens and towels as well and oh my god, it will make them smell incredible. I feel like it's been a while since I've talked about a TV show, but that's because I haven't really been like completely obsessed with anything, but now I am. And it's all thanks to Eileen. Eileen recommended Riverdale to me. It's definitely loosely based on the Archie comics. The characters are reflective of the comic characters, but they definitely are changing storylines. It's much darker and it's just such 
a good show. Like, I am so obsessed with it. I finished the entire series before Eileen even finished it, and she's the one that recommended it to me. <laughs> I just, like, plowed through Riverdale. I was so obsessed with it. I was, like, staying up late to watch it, and it's really been a while since I found a show that makes me stay up till, like, 1 a.m. because you know me. Grandma over here going to bed at like 10.30. First of all, I have to say that I love how the show is shot. It's such a beautiful show to look at and I love the storyline. It really takes twists and turns. It starts off with the disappearance of one of the Blossom twins and then turns into this much bigger storyline. I'm a total shipper of Jughead and Betty. Oh my god! If anybody else is with me, please let me know, tweet me on Twitter, or leave a comment down below because I just cannot get enough of them. I just ship them really hard because I really love both of those characters, but I also love the other characters. It's really interesting to see how pretty much every character has like a good side and then a dark side. And I think that is really awesome because it makes everybody feel more human. So if you have not watched Riverdale yet, it's on Netflix so you can be like me and plow through the entire show. If that is what you end up doing, let me know because all I want to do right now is just talk about Riverdale. I have made people watch it. I have just shouted it to everybody. So Tato has been loving these so much that I had to go out and buy a new pack of these. These are the Earth Animal No Hide Chicken Sticks. I got these for Tato because traditional raw hides just really upset Tato's stomach and I was like, I just don't think that this is the best thing to be giving him. So I decided to get him these as they're easily digestible, pure and safe. There's only a few ingredients in these sticks and all of them you can read. It's like brown rice, eggs, olive oil, banana, pineapple, and chicken. It gives him something to chew on which is the part of the rawhide that he really loved and this also tastes really good because he is just like crazy for these chicken sticks and he doesn't have an issue at all digesting them. So this makes me really happy because he's really happy and he's not having an issue with his stomach or going to the bathroom and the ingredients in these are just so much better. So if your dog really loves to chew, I definitely recommend these because they can eat the entire thing and you don't have to worry about it. By the way, my trip to France was absolutely amazing. One, because I got to go around France with one of my best friends, Carrie, and two, we got to meet Elton John because he was premiering his new music videos for three of his classic songs, Benny and the Jets, Tiny Dancer, and Rocket Man. And what was so cool about this is that up and coming filmmakers got to create the music videos for these iconic songs. So I'm going to link them down below because they are amazing and it was such a special part of this trip and you guys have to watch them if you haven't watched them already. Benny and the Jets came on while I was in the grocery store yesterday actually and all I could think about was the trip and the amazing music video that was created. It was just such a cool experience. Carrie and I were just so excited and grateful to be there in this moment while they were premiering these music videos for the first time in Cannes. It was definitely one of those life moments that both of us are gonna remember forever. All right, so that is gonna be it for my favorites video this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys watch Riverdale. That's really why I made this entire video is to just be like go watch Riverdale please if you haven't go watch it just give it one chance with the first episode and see how it goes and then let me know when you become obsessed all right I'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching I will see you all later bye